Hi there, my name is Abigail and this is how you find the turning point on a quadratic graph. Okay, so what we've got over here is we've got our quadratic expression. What I've done is I've factorized it and put it into brackets and from that I was able to find the roots. If you're not sure how to do this step in finding the roots, I'd advise you watch a video on how to find the roots from a quadratic expression. So what I've done from there is just put this into uh, my graph where the roots would be. Now to find the turning point, what I'm going to want to do is think about the total distance between my two roots. So here, the total distance between these two roots is going to be four steps. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to take that total distance and divide it by two. So I want to find the point halfway bet between these two roots. So I'm going to um, take the total distance between these two points, which is four, and I'm going to divide it by two, which is going to give me two steps. So if I go from the point one and do two steps backwards, one, two, I land at negative one. I could also go from negative three and do two steps forward, one, two, and I end up at the same point, negative one. So that is going to be the X coordinate for my turning point. So down here, my turning point, I know that the X value is going to be negative one. So because I know that, what I can do is I can take my original expression and sub in x minus 1 and see what answer I get out. And that will give me the y coordinate. So I've just rewritten this expression in a different place. Just going to sub in negative 1. So negative 1 squared plus 2 times negative 1 minus 3. So that will be 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 is 1 plus and um, two times negative one, which will be a negative two, take away a further three. So I'm doing one, take away two, take away three. That will give me negative four. My turning point will occur when x is equal to negative one and when y is equal to negative four. In other words, my turning point is going to be negative one comma negative four. And if I wanted to draw this in on my graph, I could just quickly draw that in. So this dodgy, dodgy drawing is the reason that I'm a math tutor and an art tutor. But in essence, that is how you find the turning point of a graph. Now you know how to find a turning point on a quadratic graph.